The Hyatt Regency Paris Etoile is a 34-story high skyscraper hotel located in between La Defense and the Champs-Élysées. Upon entering the hotel on the right, you'll find the registration desk, a wide open lobby, the Mayo restaurant, and on the far left, you'll find the Mayo Market, which is a grab-and-go marketplace with plenty of offerings to take back to your room. Offerings include various snacks like chips, several souvenirs, they have sandwiches and salads, there are keto and vegetarian friendly options, they carry drinks with and without alcohol, fresh fruit, and by the register you will find candy bars. One of the unique things about this hotel are the elevators. You do not select the floor you wish to go to upon boarding the elevator, you actually select it before getting on. For example, from our room on the 30th floor, to get down to the lobby, you will press the button that says lobby, and then it assigns an elevator. In this case, we were assigned elevator I, which is right there, and the doors will open and take you there, no further button press is needed. Now let's go on a room tour. We booked a Regency Suite King using World of Hyatt points. This room type consists of two connecting rooms, so we were assigned rooms 3007 and 3006 on the 30th floor. Upon entering the room, we are greeted by the closet area on the left, where you will find outside of it, two bottles of water, an electric tea kettle, some cups, and tea as well. Opening the closet, you will find a robe, an ironing board, and an iron up at the top. The bathroom is large and spacious and features a full-size shower with a traditional shower head. You'll also find a well-appointed sink with nice amenities. Opposite the sink is a small counter with a power outlet, and there's another power outlet just to the left of the sink underneath it. In the main part of the room, you'll find a large window on the opposite end, a large television, a decent amount of desk space. On either side of the bed, you will find a wall-mounted nightstand with power outlets above it and lights. There is a nice sofa up against the window, a coffee maker with Nespresso-type pods in the corner, and a mini fridge underneath that. We also were lucky enough to receive a nice view of the Eiffel Tower right outside our window. Also of note, there is a safe underneath one side of the bed's nightstand. In the adjoining room that's part of this suite, it's very similarly laid out to the first room. The bathroom is the same, just a mirror image. You'll find a similar closet along with electric tea kettle and water bottles. The main difference in this room is that instead of a king size bed, it features a fold down Murphy bed. The couches are a little bit different, so there's a small couch up against the bathroom wall, as well as a smaller couch in the corner. It does have a mini fridge, and it features almost the same exact view of the Eiffel Tower. Now let's take a look at the Regency Club Lounge where you can find food offerings throughout most of the day. Here at breakfast, you'll find fresh bread. You'll also find pastries, including croissants, chocolate croissants, and various danishes. There's also bread that you can toast in their toaster. They have gluten-free options as well, some fresh fruit, various nuts and granola. There's also honey and jams. And at the end of this table, you will find madeleines, pancakes, and waffles. On the next island of the buffet, you'll find some more fresh fruit, which changes daily. There's yogurt, various cream cheese and butter options to go with 
smoked salmon, cheeses, and different charcuterie meats. You'll also find items to make salad. So there's lettuce, tomatoes, radish, different oils and vinegar, some milks, including dairy-free milk. You'll also find roasted veggies, which change daily, roasted potatoes, scrambled eggs, hard-boiled eggs, ketchup and mustard, breakfast sausages, roasted tomatoes, and of course, bacon. You'll also find refrigerators that feature drinks for you to take as you please. These are available throughout the day. Along the back wall, you'll find your hot beverage options. So there's an espresso machine, fresh homemade hot chocolate, another espresso machine that also has hot water, tea packets, and a Nespresso machine with Nespresso pods on top. During breakfast hours, they expand the area you can use to sit in by opening the window bar next door. The rest of the day, the Regency Club Lounge is a little bit smaller, but there's plenty of space and rarely many people in it. During the midday snack period, you'll find fresh fruit, fresh pastries, which change daily, iced teas, and candy. The beverages that are available during breakfast are also available all day long. So your choice of teas and various coffee drinks. And the grab and go refrigerator is available as well with sodas, juice, and beer. During the nightly hors d'oeuvre spread, you will find fresh fruit, fresh bread, various cheeses and spreads, as well as some fresh pre-made salad offerings. There's also some pre-made tea time type sandwiches and some charcuterie meats. That is a duck pate sandwich. They also have nuts and sausage and tomatoes and various pastries, oftentimes left over from earlier in the day. This hors d'oeuvre time is also the only time you have access to wine. We hope you found this tour of the Hyatt Regency Paris Etoile helpful. With convenient metro access, a nice Regency club lounge, and great views, you can't go wrong with this hotel. If you have questions or comments, please leave them down below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Don't forget to like this video and please subscribe for more Paris and travel content from around the world.